TPS is the U.S. immigration program that stands for Temporary Protected Status. While it's not as well known as DACA, there are nearly a half a million people living in the U.S. with temporary protected status. So here's everything you need to know about TPS. What? TPS protects people who would face extreme hardship if they were forced to return to their homelands. Both the country and the people from that country can be designated as having temporary protected status. Ten countries are currently designated under TPS, and people from those countries can apply to stay in the U.S. legally, as long as they don't have a criminal record and haven't left the U.S. since first arriving here. If they're granted status, they can live and work in the U.S. legally. Who? About 437,000 people in the U.S. currently have TPS, but they can't get a green card or citizenship and can't be deported from the U.S. And TPS recipients have had 273,000 U.S.-born children. Where? The countries under TPS are in Central America, the Middle East, Africa, and Asia. TPS is designated to these countries because of natural disasters, civil wars, or as a result of extraordinary circumstances like an Ebola outbreak or political unrest. When? The Department of Homeland Security reviews each country's TPS every six to 18 months and decides whether to extend the program or cancel it. And if it's canceled, recipients living in the U.S. must return to their country of origin before a given deadline, or they can face deportation. Why? TPS ends when DHS decides it's safe for people to return to their home country. And while the decision is often made out to be a political one, both Democratic and Republican administrations have ended TPS programs. President Obama ended three before leaving office. And the Trump administration is reviewing the status of all 10 countries on the TPS list. Thank <laughs> you.